Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Angular, we will talk about loop. First of all, I want to clear one thing. Angular for loop and JavaScript for loop, both are the different thing. Whenever we have to make any loop inside our HTML file, that time we will use Angular for loop. But whenever we have to make any loop inside TS file, that time we will use JavaScript loop, right? So now let's start with the point. First of all, we will make a array and apply loop over it. So why we need array? So see, whenever we are making any loop, that simply means we want to print values one by one. That means we have lots of values. And in a single variable, if we have just uh, some string or some uh, numeric value, that cannot be uh, a print one by one because this is only one value. So loop only apply when we have multiple values and array can contain multiple values. That's why we will use uh, array with the loop. After that, I will show you how we can uh, make array of object and apply loop over it. And at the last, we will discuss some important interview questions also. So first of all, let's make a simple array and apply a loop over it. So let me just make a property with the name of let's say users and it have some names like uh, Anil, Peter, Bruce and uh, let's say Sony and Sam. Fine. So let's make a loop over these values, right? I just want to show you them as a list over here so first of all let's take any html element so i'm taking here h3 and just simply use here star ng capital f for 4 and just simply take a let data of our property which have the array so users users right you can take any value here it like you can take item i whatever you want this is simple a let value or you can say that this is just simple a variable so now and that simply one more thing it will just get a single value from users and print it how it will print i will show you just use double curly braces it and just put a item inside it so if you are taking a data as a variable then you have to use here data so let's get with, back with the item because this is uh, look like more realistic. And here you can see that all values are printed one by one. Even we can just add some string also like uh, name is this, right? And now you will, find, you will find that we got the name is Anil, Peter, Bruce and all. So this is a simple array and a simple loop over array. So now let's say every user have some details. So I am just going to make one more loop over it. So, so first of all, let's define uh, array of object. So we have a user details, user details. So every users have detail like uh, name, email address, phone number. So how we can show them? Uh, let me just uh, make an object first of all. And only if we have object, then we can show the uh, multiple values of a user otherwise we can just show a one value so if I'm just putting here a, a name then a email address then phone number then they are the different different item they are not the same item right right so we will make a object of it like name is Anil and uh, with that way uh, we can have the multiple values like email address and I can put here Anil at the rate test.com and uh, after that let's say phone number and we can print here simply uh, double one double one this is actually not real that you can understand so with the same way we can just just take uh, more uh, users detail and uh, let me just make here Sam Bruce, Peter, so and uh, now we can just put here phone number, some random phone numbers and all like this, right? 
so now i want to make a loop over these values so how i can make so let's try with the same way i am just making another loop just uh, uh, behind it so we can put here uh, details is and now if i am putting here my property name user detail here then you will find there there is a uh, something different like a uh, weird thing object object that means this is the object and we cannot print object like this so we have to just print the key of object like name or phone number or email and now now you, now you will find that details is anil sam bruce and with that even you can use your email to print the emails right so let's see you want to print the two things like uh, uh, name and after that you want to print here uh, item dot email then you will find that the both things are just printed here and with a similar way you can also print here and let's take them in the next line so that uh, you can just check out complete screen and now let's print the phone number also like this and now we have name and uh, email address and mobile number and everything right so this is a simple example of for loop in angular so let's talk about interview question first thing they can ask that can you use angular for loop in ts file the answer is no you cannot use you can just just use it in a html file because this is the ng for loop this is a directive second thing is uh, is angular for loop and the javascript for loop are same the answer is no they both are different but yes they are solving the same purpose they are both are used uh, used for or looping that means printing one by one values uh, all right after that uh, another question can be like uh, can we use uh, for loop inside for loop in angular the answer is yes we can do it and uh, after one or two videos i will make a video for uh, nested for loop or you can say that for loop inside for loop in the angular so these are the interview question if you have any other query you can ask me in the comment box and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video